Spirit, though, we've seen plenty of mistakes made around Roshan and pushing high ground too early. And making sure that they are absolutely 100% ready to break the base, especially against a team like Secret with buybacks available. Two minutes left until the respawn, and they will have two bastards. One on Bristleback, Nisha, zipping in, zipping out. He's going to be out of mana. They're going to get caught by Mira. You have to row there, but the same with the disruption. BKB Zion. is available. Trying to buy time for it. BKB up with the Vortex around. In come for Solar Guardian as well. Keeping Nisha alive. And hiding in behind that tier three. Dawnbreaker trying to slam into Toronto, Tokyo, but... And there's a lot of ultis used. This tier two tower is gone. They don't have what it takes to... Nisha with a little bit of a miscalculation there, how much mana he needs. They want to go in, they want to take the barracks. 13 seconds until Jug respawns. It's very difficult. With this Basher on Bango, Juggernaut can't go for this split push. Like, he can't, he, he can't just sit in a phase because eventually they're gonna lose. Nisha, not again. again! No mana! He has to be KB, he cleared the wave, but he's gone! Nisha's playing the previous patch where he thinks that he has three nulls. Well, he doesn't, does he? He's going to have to buy back and fight because they've lost their mid-tier three and the barracks. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom Green tower top. is under attack. Oh. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. I've caught my breath. Back to 